friends and today I'm here with Snowflake um, and my camera is still broken so I'm having to use my phone for this I do apologize but anyways today we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started on learning to jump planks so before jumping a plank I really want to get you should really get the dog used to jumping a vertical with a rail underneath it like this but no plank and there's just a rail underneath um and so because it's gonna be scary because they can't see what's on the other side they don't know what's on the other side for what they think about a plank is what's on the other side is um snakes or or um, an endless pit or something that could hurt them okay so you really want to walk them literally around it okay so that they can see jump them both ways on it on the warm-up make sure it's small um, just make sure you don't do anything that would hurt them okay so now I'm ready to jump her <laughs> I'm ready to jump her now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna let her see both sides of it. She, she's jumped this a million times. She knows what it is. She knows what it is. But on the head, let her look on both sides. Oh, okay. Okay, she loves to jump. I'm sorry. She's leg itch. She's jumped things like this a million times. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to walk her around. See what she thinks about it. She loves to jump. Nothing. We're walking around. Walk around both ways. But I know that okay. I'm gonna keep doing this until she until the leash I should have the leash tight enough to where I can feel how tense she is. And right now she's not very tense. But I mean I'm just gonna relax her a little bit more. Make her be a good girl. I'm ready to jump her okay and I'm gonna show you um, how her body should look while we're jumping come here come come good girl okay so her body stand should be pretty much like we we are jumping an oxer head up looking forward back should be flat legs should be curled up underneath her like this her legs her back legs should be back good girl and they just land like a normal okay i'm gonna show you how she jumps it now i'm sure you've already seen that she loves to jump off these I'm going to show you what to look for when you're buying a plank. So when you're buying a plank, you really want to look for, uh, this one used to be white, but I painted it black because our concrete is light colored or whatever we're practicing on is going to be light colored. You might want to paint it a darker color, but as you can see, it has the grooves in it on one side and that is for you to cut to make it smaller depending on the dog but I mean um, I've left it at original size and it seems to work just fine on my higher level dogs but um, for beginner dogs um, I would probably say about the first line or one of the smaller ones um, because they're like they don't know what it is they have they need to learn I mean you can buy these these are really nice anyways you can buy them they're good but I mean we've decided not to cut ours um, because our dogs need to learn that they need to be doing bigger jumps now because they I'm sorry I cannot talk because they show yes they do they show a lot so Back to the lesson. So now that I'm gonna be jumping her over the long, over the 
flat side of the um, plank, I'm gonna go ahead and set it up a little bit higher than usual because oxers, you know, are easier. I told you this before. Oxers are easier to jump than verticals. Yeah. I mean, she's pretty good about these. She loves oxers. Stepped on it a little bit there, but there's nothing the little speed can't resolve. Good. Oh, good job. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you a side view of that. Okay. So again, we have it the long way, which is like this, not like this, like this. She needs to learn how to jump these. These usually won't be in competition for like a very far distance, but I mean, she still needs to learn how to jump distances well. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put a smaller side rail or a smaller rail in front of it about maybe like this so that she learns how to jump better because they can see under the plank. But doing it when it's flipped, it's not a very good idea because they're not gonna be able to see it and they're gonna land on it. won't look at them. I'll have um, a mirror in front of them so that I can see what they're doing. And the reason for that is with a lot of dogs you really you can't you're not supposed to be looking at them when they jump it otherwise that's gonna cause them to get nervous and they're gonna say oh no they expect too much from me I can't do it. And they're not, they're not gonna jump they're gonna stop they're gonna run out or they're gonna crash to the jump and hurt themselves. So, it's either over, under, or through, okay? You never go around. Over, under, or through. Okay? And stopping is unacceptable. Um, and jumping, or stopping and going around is unacceptable. So, as well as just flat out stopping. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you this jump again. as well. You, wanna, you don't want to be here. You want to be up straight, looking at your dog while they jump. Um, and like I said before, um, teaching dogs with treats how to jump, like with a treat every every 
free jump? No, that's not acceptable because every time, every time that they do something, they're gonna think, oh, if I do this, I'm gonna have to get a treat. Um, and you don't wanna think that. You don't want them to think like that. You want them to think, oh, if I do, however, this many jumps, I'll get a treat. If I do this many jumps and also that many, I'll get another treat. If I train for this amount of time, I'll get a treat each time. You want them to think, oh, if I do one jump, okay, I get a treat and then I'll stop and I'm not gonna do the rest. You want them to do an entire course or an entire hour long lesson and then you get them the treat. Right? And also I don't suggest um, feeding them after you give them at least, yeah, I don't suggest feeding them after you train with them. At least wait about, an hour before you feed them after training because um, then that'll cause pancreatitis, that'll cause their stomach to jump. Um, Snowflake here is pretty healthy. She's got, she's an old lady now though. Um, but I mean, she's a good girl. She's been very good. She needs to be clipped. And um, I'll show you a lot of. Oh, girl. Um. She needs, she needs to have her whiskers clipped a little bit, but she'll be okay. Um, the only reason that people clip their dogs before a show, especially chihuahuas, especially even smooth hair chihuahuas, um, people clip them because they want them to look smarter, okay? Because having even smooth fur um, Snowflake has thick hair, anyways. Um, when you clip that hair off, it makes them look a lot thinner, it makes them look a lot smarter. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, let's go to the tip of the day. dog you can go ahead and set up a weave shoot just you can go ahead and shoot up set up a weave shoot sorry stuff like it's like trying to run away from me again so all you have to do is take two brooms or two poles flower plant or any kind of barrel like small barrel like thing you can have just weave them in and out of it Okay, and then make sure you have a pull at the end, otherwise they're not going to know to turn around and do it again. And then come out the chute and halt about where I am or Snowflake is in between there. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate, demonstrate that. Sorry, come on. She already knows what to do here. Back to the program. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you how to jump some banks. Um, you really wanna have this up on a platform or anywhere where there's like a big step with like a few feet. And I mean, not a big step, like really about four or five inches. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate that to you. You wanna go ahead and start jumping them up first instead of down because that's going to tell them oh there's something down there and you do not ever want to put a plank there unless your job unless your dog is of advanced level okay so here we go start jumping them up the bank first. Come here. Come. Oh no. And it can be a little bit scary for a lot of dogs because they've never seen this before. They don't know what it is. Oh, she's never seen this before. I believe it or not. She's never jumped a bank. And I'm actually 
actually gonna be showing you guys how to get your dog. go ahead and train her a little bit on it. Just keep doing it over and over again and we'll get back with jumping up the bank. Okay so I finally got her to jump it both ways. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you down first then we're gonna go up. Okay. Okay. Now sometimes you might have to go over it with the dog. Good. Sometimes you don't. It really depends on how your dog is. Girl. You need to teach them not to stop right after a jump. Make sure you have them used to jumping it both ways because guess what? They're not going to jump if they don't know how to jump it both ways. Come on. Good. Okay. Make sure they're not stopping right after the jump. Come on. Okay. Because that's going to cause them to say, oh, I don't want to jump this anymore. Because when they come the other direction and they get right where they stop when they're coming down, they're going to say, oh, I can stop here. So make sure, even if they stop, to walk, pull, and keep trotting. Okay, and she's pretty good about stopping here. She just, she doesn't like to. Oh, oh, good girl. Okay. Good job. Okay, I hope you had a fantastic time. I hope you had a fantastic time with us. And um, be sure to join us again tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.